guys my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK tutorial today I'm going to introduce you one of my favorite uh, up widget which um, it is quite very interesting and it is quite difficult me I got to admit before we proceed that I'm not uh, quite 100% sure about everything uh, how it's working but at least I have an idea and I put them all together with the help of uh, GTK guys uh, I could finally proceed with these uh, tutorials because I had some questions where I got a lot of answers a lot of good answers anyway the widget which I'm going to introduce to today it is called G menu it is a menu which says it's a simple implementation of the G menu model we are going to talk about this one later as you can see we have some functions types and values G menu G menu item object hierarchy as you can see it comes from G menu model which comes from G object of course G menu is a simple implementation of G menu model so you populate a G menu by adding G menu item instances to it there are some common sense functions to allow you to directly add items avoiding G menu item of course We'll see for the common cases anyway the, to add a regular item use g menu insert to add a section use menu insert section to add a sub menu use the g menu insert sub menu we'll see about this anyway uh, before we proceed um, let me show you some examples which i uh, managed to succeed until now so the first one it will be it look like like this as you can see it is a menu with the help of actions about the actions we are not going to talk too much in this video but I'm going to create uh, another playlist because we need to learn about G action G simple action G action group and so on anyway with the help of actions basically you create these um, menus this is the first one this is the second one as you can see okay it looks a little bit different and not because uh, at its position watch you see I'm clicking right here it's now we have a popover and if you click on the file then it reveals something which was there hidden close and works fine now let me introduce you the next one which is the second the third one it looks like this one as you can see for some of you it could be very very similar with something of course because I just re-implement the whole terminal menu which is this one right here and of course the last one which I was thinking that will be useful it is very useful because here you see more than you saw in the last one the terminal one which means here we have icons as well as you can see we have icon we have a label and we have an accelerator accelerator and so on and looks nice and of course we have some sections and so on. we are going to check those you see help section is right here and the same section is linked right here this is what also we are going to learn so that being said let us move on uh, what do we have now we have until now I created a GTK application and uh, we are monitoring the startup and the activate in the activate as you can see we create our window nothing special we set its title and then we print it to the screen in the startup uh, function we did not put something until now because here we are going to create all uh, the, the the whole program so let me compile it and run it for a second as you can see we have just a regular window nothing special that being said let us move on the first thing first what do we need we need the new function which is the G menu new it says creates a new G menu and the new menu has no items so in other words uh, let's see G menu okay nope yes okay with G menu new and the next thing which is very very interesting for us we need a function I'm going to introduce you in a second it is called GTK application set menu bar GTK application set menu bar uh, GTK 
Unique application set menu by why? Uh, oh, yes, because it should be together. Anyway, it is right here. It says sets or unsets the menu bar for Windows of application. So this is a menu bar in the traditional sense. This can only be done in the primary instance of the application. So after it has been registered, startup is a good place to call this. Okay, you see, so that's the place where we are call it. The first one is the application. The second one is the menu bar, which should be a G menu model. We already saw that uh, the G menu comes from G menu model, which makes sense, isn't it? So let us call this function copy and the first thing which we need, we need the application right here. I'm going to remove the cast, the unuse it because we are going to use until uh, uh, starting with this um, at this point. And G menu model menu. And if we go back to, let me close this one because we don't need it. If we go now back to our um, G menu new we see that says returns a new G menu and it, because it's not a constant we need to drop its reference so G object uh, on ref our menu so now at this point we basically created our menu which means we were creating a menu and then we are setting the application uh, menu bar and then we are on ref the menu once that we are done let me compile it and run it you won't see nothing at this point because we have nothing. It is basically when you do this, it's the same like when you put a grid or a, um, a box inside a window where nothing is to be seen. To make it visible, you need to put something inside it. Basically, you only childs are important here and not the the container itself. So the menu container at this point is not visible. It should not also. Now, because everything looks fine, let us create. Let us first create our first um, uh, menu. And for this, I need the GTK menu item new right here. It says creates a new G menu item. So if we go to G menu item or park, you can't see nothing about it, whatever. Anyway, uh, if label uh, takes two arguments, the first one is a label and the second one is a detail actions. About the detail action and label, we are going to talk much more when at the point when I'm going to create the, the uh, actions uh, or better say the G actions uh, playlist and then you understand that. Anyway, uh, if label is not null, uh, is not null, it is used to set the label attribute of the new item. If the tell action is not non-null, it is used to set the action and the possibility to target at attribute of the new item. See G menu item set detail action. We will talk about this anyway. So that being said, we need a G menu item. And let us create the item. And the item we are going to point to this one, of course. And like it says, we need a label and we need an action. So the label will be at this point, let's say um, new, and the action will be app dot new. Well, we have two kind of actions. We have the app action and we have the, the uh, win, app, win actions. This means uh, those actions which belongs to the application or to the window. We are not going right now to proceed so deeply in this one. We, we are going to see that in another playlist. Anyway, this is the way how you do it. Um, and now let's uh, see. As you can see, it doesn't return uh, const and still says returns a new G menu model. When you see all the time this, which means it means for you that you need to drop its reference for yourself. So, hi there. So that you can later uh, reuse it because this is very important. Okay, now because we create it, we need to put it inside our menu and for this we have a lot of functions like insert item, ipend item, prepare item and so on. Uh, basically I'm going to, to 
take the insert item first, which means uh, it is a function, inserts the item into menu. The insertion is actually done by copying all of the attribute and link values of the item and using them to form a new item within menu. As such, the item itself is not really inserted. In other words, once that you're done with it, once that you put it here in this function, basically you can safely call uh, unref on it because a copy was made and you can just uh, destroy this one to use it later. Okay, that being said, uh, the first parameter is the menu, the second is the position uh, where you want to insert it, and the last one it is the item itself. Okay, so let's see how exactly works. I'm going to call it right here. Let's see, we need the menu, so let's put the menu. Position will be zero because it's the first one it is, and the item. Now, let's see if everything works fine. Let me compile it and write. And yes, as you can see at this point, we have basically created our first item. Now, of course, because at this point I'm going to make a copy of these things. Let me let me do a little bit changes. And at this point, we are going to create three more items. The first one it will be uh, let's say open open uh, save save and quit now let me compile it and run it And as you can see, now at this point we do have three, four, uh, four, sorry, different, um, four different um, items which we put in our menu. Basically, it is not the way how you create it. Uh, it you will see how exactly we are going to make these changes because we you don't really need to see these items in your menu. And still, instead, you need to see something like here, where. Uh, much more menus are uh, created and every menu should contain basically some uh, items which you decide uh, you decide to put them inside so in other words uh, here is the first menu which you actually created about how we do and how we create those menu we will see in the next video that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys